Attack on Mika. My name is Ichi. I work full time at this pub, and I'm 25 years old. Welcome! In my hometown, our pub is a pretty popular place to go. That's why it's always busy, and all of the staff are hard working people. One draft beer! Priority, please! Boss, the group in the back will be extending their party plan. Got it! But recently, we've been so understaffed. For the record, I got along with almost all of the part-time staff. The atmosphere in the pub was pretty good, and everybody worked hard together as a team. That is, except for one person. Hey, Ichi! Ugh... Hey, look, look! Don't you think I look great in this photo? Sh sure Uh, we're very busy, so if you can hurry up and clock in... Oh, come on, I still have two minutes left. Why do you always wait until the last minute? Sure, that's right. I generally get along with all of our part-time staff, but this Miss Kiyomi was troublesome. She was of a good age already. But almost every day, she would show me a photo of her face heavily edited with an app. Sometimes, she would get the other female staff involved and take multiple photos during work. Good morning! By the way, she made that name tag herself, too. Are you okay? She keeps staring at you all day as usual, Mr. Ichi. Ugh. Well, let's just focus on our work. Great, Great work, work today. today! Yeah! Thank you guys for today. Ichi! Uh, great work! Hey, what do you think of this? Do you think it looks really good on me? No, I definitely don't think that. How old do you think you are? Another day. Among all of that, the worst part was the way she would brag about her education. All right, I'm gonna work hard again today. What? You just went to a community college? Come on, not again! That's very unfortunate for your future. I actually graduated from a very famous national university. Uh, I... I see. Uh, how nice. And by the way, I used to work in a major apparel company, and I was in charge of their planning department. You know, what they call a girl boss? Just like that? If she found somebody with a lesser education than her, she would look down on them and brag. To be honest, myself included, everybody was frustrated by her. But also, doesn't education not matter that much anyway? However, because Miss Kiyomi was also friends with the manager, we couldn't say much to her. Then one day, because we were so understaffed, I asked my childhood friend to come and help us out. My name is Mika. I look forward to working with you all. Thanks, Mika. I'm sorry to ask you to do this. No problem. Leave it to me. Mika was even better than I imagined. She was a fast worker and great with people. And her ratings from both the customers and the staff were amazing. Miss Mika, you're amazing! You're beautiful and you're good at your job. I really look up to you. <laughs> That's not true at all. Oh, yeah? However... It seemed that Miss Kiyomi didn't feel the same way about Mika. Damn it! What is with that girl? I don't care if you're Ichi's childhood friend or whatever, but you better not get carried away. Hey, you're in the way! Whoa! Excuse me? Ow! What kind of move is that? On top of that, one day, it came up in conversation between the part-time staff that Mika didn't graduate high school, and as soon as Miss Kiyomi found that out, she did what she does best and belittled her for it. Mika was somehow able to ignore Miss Kiyomi, but the other part-time staff and I had reached our limit of patience. I feel so bad for Miss Mika. I can't just stand by and watch. Yeah, me too. The thing is, there's no point telling people like that even to their face. About that, I actually have an idea. And so... I secretly decided to put a strategy into motion to corner Miss Kiyomi with the other part-time staff. A few months later, we had gotten past our busy season, and we threw a welcome party for Mika. Cheers! Cheers! Man, I'm really so glad that you joined us, Mika. 
You seriously saved us! I'm glad. I'm happy I was able to help. Hmm. Well, I guess being a high school dropout, you're all right. <laughs> I want you to learn a lot more things, but I guess that would be impossible with your brain. <laughs> all right. This is very sudden. But until our manager gets back from the head office, we're going to have a small meeting. Actually, for the future of this pub, we've been taking a survey from our customers. It's important to know how you're being viewed by the customers. So let's look at the results together. Interesting. That's great. Well, I think it's obvious that I am the most popular without any competition. And that last place would be... <laughs> I'm sure it's the person with the lowest level of education anyway. Nope. The opposite. What? Mika, who's been working here the shortest, was the most popular. And as for you, Miss Kiyomi, you were very clearly in last place in terms of reviews. What? There's no way! It's the truth. Here, please take a look at this. Uh, what is this? Miss Kiyomi, you always act very big, but it seems like the customers aren't satisfied with your service. Even if you have a higher education, what does that mean if you don't have any communication skills? <sighs> Shut up! I just have different values from all of you. And first of all, the type of customers that come to this public place, they're all peasants and don't know any better. As someone who has worked at a major company, obviously there's no way that I'm in the wrong! What? What's she saying now? Um, pardon me. What do you want? That's a lie, isn't it? What? I kept my mouth shut all this time, but the job that you said you had as the person in charge of the planning department of an apparel company, I'm actually doing that role right now at that company. What? What are you saying? That's not a place that a high school dropout like you can work. There must be something wrong with you. N no, it's the truth. I went into the office today and worked before coming here. Look, my employee card. Uh, uh, but something isn't right. Everyone in the planning department of that company should be elite and all graduated from college. Yes, everybody around me does fit that description. Well then, how can someone like you be? From there, Mika started telling her the truth. It was true that Mika didn't graduate high school, but she always liked customer service, and she used to work as a store employee for that company's brand. Within a few years, she became store manager, and the store sales suddenly skyrocketed. Every month, her sales numbers were at the top as well, and she was recruited by the HR department of the brand headquarters. And then, now she's even in charge of designing in the planning department at the company headquarters. But in the end, I do love customer service. And that was when Ichi called me about this job, and so I came here to help out. No, no way! Oh, and one more thing. This is a rumor that I heard a few years ago in the company, but apparently there was a person in the planning department who was fired for embezzling to a subsidiary. Uh, I'm pretty sure that their name was also Kiyomi, but they weren't even a full-time employee and just by contract, so perhaps it wasn't you? Uh, so, so the, the reason, reason why, why Mika, Mika was, was ignoring, ignoring Miss Kiyomi all this time? time? That's because she was keeping her mouth shut. For her sake. Well, Miss Kiyomi, if there's one thing I can say, rather than your education or your past achievements, don't you think it's more important to look at what you can do right now? Uh... Hey, everyone! Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Everyone having a good time? Uh... Something happened? In the end, after the staff happy hour, Miss Kiyomi got pissed off and she quit her part-time job herself. After her life was exposed, it must have been hard for her to stay. Just in case, Mika and I explained the situation to the pub manager, but... Oh, that's fine, that's fine. That woman was my old classmate, and she begged me for work till she could find her next job, so I had no choice but to hire her. But she wasn't even looking for a new job, so I was pretty troubled by it too. So honestly, you helped me. I didn't need to be that careful all this time. Boss, I wish you'd told us that sooner. 
I heard that Miss Kiyomi is looking for a new job now, after impulsively quitting the pub. But she seems to be getting rejection after rejection. I have a higher education, and I also used to work in a major group holdings company. I see. So why did you quit? What? What do you mean, what? It seems like you were working longer part-time at the pub than you were at that company. Uh, uh, well, that's... And what was the reason you quit? Uh, um, uh... Hmm? Welcome! Of course, there's no downside to having a great education. What's the most important thing is... We've got two draft beers! Got it! What you can do right now, isn't it? Hey, miss! You're so cute! <laughs> uh, thanks. If you want, later we can... Hey, Mika, the manager is asking for you. Oh, yes. Sorry, sir. Would you like to order? Hey, thanks for that. Uh, sure. It, it's important to be friendly, but in moderation. What? Because you're really cute, you know?